Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Drew Bergen. This is going to be the latest edition of the grittiest take as we talk about the round and pounding Tom Wilson style player Hayden Hodges making his debut tonight and also preview the game in general for a Philadelphia Flyers against a former Philadelphia Flyer, Braden Shen, and his St. Louis Blues that takes off at 8 p.m. tonight in St. Louis, Missouri. So let's get right into it. This has, of course, been a down season for the Flyers and a down game last time in a 6-3 loss. That guys you want to see step up, though, in Joel Fair, be Oscar Lindblom, who's unfortunately banged up and not playing tonight, and then JVR in terms of being able to move him in the offseason, all were able to get goals. So obviously, there's, that's a positive, at least. Overall, though, not a very good game yet again for the Philadelphia Flyers in Hockey Town, their second poor performance in Hockey Town this season. But <clears throat> when it comes to the positives for tonight's game, I, for one, am excited as someone that watched Hayden Hodgson from his Royals days to his Phantom days covering for Flyers Nitty Gritty to today when he gets to debut, claps up for him with the Philadelphia Flyers. Hayden Hodgson's going to get to debut Claps up for him. Hats off to him. Great to see him get a chance. Seems like they're going to put him with Brown and McEwen. Um, honestly, to me, from knowing him as a player, he's very good at getting to the dirty areas. He's a very intuitive, very witty guy. He play, uh, Nobody plays the Wilson style to the level of Wilson, who's just ridiculous and can produce 60 or more points a season. But Hodgson has a wire of a shot can get to the playmaking areas, he gets to the scoring areas of the best of them, and it is a guy that Flyers fans are going to love, because he'll beat the living crap out of anybody, um, and I think there might be a fight tonight in St. Louis, that would be my prediction, I think Hodgson might end up bringing, or Haji, as they call him, might end up bringing the punch tonight, for sure, in St. Louis, so JVR, Farabee at center, as we're trying out, I actually like that experiment, Atkinson at right wing, Hayes Konechny is just listed as a second line. I would actually put <clears throat> Hodgson with Tibbet and Frost just because I think he plays better with those guys. When you have Tibbet's a guy that he can hit the body around a bit. Max is more of just a quicker guy that can, doesn't do that as much at the NHL level, and we know Frost doesn't do it. So if you put Haji with them, I think that works out because he has a wide of a shot and can check anybody around and also has offensive components. And then Tibbet's a guy that's a sniper that's good off the puck. Um, is going to continue to get stronger on the puck, and I've liked his first two games here in Philadelphia. And then, obviously, Morgan Frost, he's a guy that we have to see what he continues to do down the stretch here. But I still personally really like and believe in Morgan Frost. I just think this might be the first time they're finally putting him in the right positions. And I know a lot of people disagree with me on that, but you're not going to get me to agree with you because I still personally like and believe in Morgan Frost, and that's my personal opinion. But when it comes to tonight's game, the Flyers are playing a team... I mean, let me be honest. The, the the playing a team, I started off with the positives because <clears throat> we're playing a team that I believe has a chance, um, along with the Colorado Avalanche, along with now Minnesota that they acquired. All three teams that are top three in the Central have a good chance to win the Cup, honestly, because Minnesota acquired Flurry. St. Louis is loaded as long as Bennington gets better and Huso keeps dominating. Uh, and then you also have Colorado, who, I mean, loaded is a, that they are just in a stratosphere of their own with the talent they have and skill on that team. So I think that division's loaded. I think St. Louis is a great team to play. I think they're a team that uh, I think Hayden Hodgson, I've seen him do this at each level, steps up to the opponent every single night. So I think having a guy like that that brings that energy is going to be nice. And I do have a feeling he's going to end up eventually being on the third line here before the end of the season just because of the way he plays the game. Where Max Willman just because he, he's a quicker skater that's good on his edges and everything and is pretty solidly strong on the puck for his size. It's just he hasn't produced enough at the NHL level for the type of player he is to be up there. And I love Max Wilman. I think he's great at the AHL level, and I love covering him. But at the NHL level, I think he's more of a fourth liner at this point that, that, that can work his way up uh, for a team like the Flyers that are in this retool going into next year. Pro v. York, though, I do like that at the defense. Obviously, Sandheim Risto, I've always said that. I hope uh, Brennan, um, I hope Brennan Manel, who we picked up, is going to be up sooner rather than later because, let's be honest, uh, they are not uh, the best team when it comes to 
uh, defense back there in the bottom parts of our defense. So I do really hope they call Brandon Manel up sooner rather than later. That's a good offensive punch guy from the right side. Uh, let him play if we're going to keep Yandel with Yandel. If we're going to go seven guys, let him play instead of Kevin Connaughton or Keith Yandel. But I don't think we're going to do that until he hits his 1,000th game. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do. But when it comes to this team, I think it's just about looking at the guys. I kind of highlighted them in this video, the Hayden Hodgins of the world. Looking at, I mean, Willman, what he can do. Looking at the guys that is a fan favorite, McEwen. And looking at the guys heading in the next season, Patty Brown's on the contract as a solid 4C in next season. If he can just to fill that role well, you need guys that fill that role. Tibbetts fitting in well nicely. Can Travis Konechny, who's been great assist-wise this year, can he get more to the shooting mentality again and then be the full-blown Travis Konechny? Kevin Hayes seems to be getting back to being Kevin Hayes. Then you got Atkinson, Joel Fairby, I never worry about, and neither do I do with Cam Atkinson. And then JVR seems to be looking a little bit better lately, which is only going to help you for his trade value. Cam York's great. Sanheim has looked more like the Sanheim you saw growing up in juniors to the AHL, and then not as much in every aspect of the NHL because they didn't let him be free as much, and now they're starting to do that, finally. So I think this team is definitely starting to show some signs in the positive for the future, but nothing in terms of, I think, this being a huge, obviously, turnaround next year or anything like that. I would have to see how the offseason goes to predict that, but I do think we're starting to have things move right for the future. Having a guy like Hodgson get rewarded, I think he's a player that has a chance to stick in the NHL because he brings the physical punch plus as a wire of a shot and gets to all the right areas. Well, Willman gets to all the right areas but doesn't bring that extra punch and is more of a speedster that would have to produce a little bit more or be as good at defense as Tyler Pitlick, basically, to be able to continue to crank it at the uh, NHL level. But have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. I really enjoy your support this far. Please continue to support down below on the subscribe button, excuse me, or the easy-to-use widget at the top up here as we try to grow to 215 or more by the end of March. I'm excited to see what Hodgie can do tonight. I hope you are, too. Please continue to subscribe down below. Go Flyers. This has been the latest edition of The Grittiest Take.